Who's you? Kinemagi and Nene Ireland and Dijnikas, and welcome to today's episode of Social Studies Explorer. Today's episode, Case Studies and Colonizers Assessment. Day. Obviously, we've been talking about Columbus throughout this chapter, and today we put it all together. I advise that if you don't need the test read to you, you may listen to, through the directions and then exit out and go ahead and take it within the Google Classroom. If you are going to listen to it, uh, you're going to want to put pause this video and go backwards right now and go ahead and open up the actual document, Google form, so that you can use two tabs. What I would do is open up the Google form. Then I would go back into the classroom and open up the video. And then you'll be able to read, hear a question, pause the video, and then go back to the question to answer it and then come back and restart the video or unpause it, listen to the question, pause it, go answer the question, come back, unpause it, and so forth. If you're going to do that, you should go ahead and exit it out now, and then we'll come back and we'll go over the directions together. If you are a student who's not going to listen to the whole video, you should stay here. So go ahead and exit out if you are going to listen to the directions so that you can open the Google form in the Google Classroom and then come back. Let's go ahead and do that now. Welcome back. So for all of you here, here to hear the instructions, both students that are going to take it without listening to it and students that do want to have it read to you, obviously always start with your name and Please do not use names like Kiki or Riley or Mr. Ireland unless that is your actual name because it does make it impossible for me to grade. Uh, there were papers in the first quarter that unfortunately were not given credit because I am honestly not going to track down if you give me a fake name. That's a, a conse natural consequence to your choice. Um, when you see the correct the statement questions that I'll be reading to you in a little bit, what I expect from you is to rewrite the statement in a way that is correct. You are encouraged to provide details. So if you wanted to give me three or four sentences about Columbus wanting to prove that the world was flat, that's a really good idea and shows your depth of knowledge. Um, the bare minimum would be telling me, um, editing this statement so that it is true. But if you really wanna earn that three, you should give me details because uh, it's probably a two and a half if you can just recorrect this. But if you can give me a little bit of detail, that'll give me a three. So each of these, you're going to correct the statement by typing it out um, with as much detail as you need. Because I ask you to pause the videos, you'll be able to type for as long as you want and then come back and unpause the video to hear the next question. Then when we get down here, list three causes or reasons for Columbus's voyages. You could literally type one dash, here's the first reason, two dash, the second, three dash, the third. If you're doing the paper copy, uh, these questions are all the same. And then down here, list three effects or consequences of Columbus's voyages. You may use what's in any text as answers. You may use any un- uh, any less resources that weren't part of my direct teaching. Maybe you've gotten teachings from a culture teacher or a previous teacher, that's fine. Uh, just make sure they're accurate. All right, so let's go back up to the top. If you are a student that are uh, going to go ahead and simply do it on your own, you can exit out. If you're a student who's doing the paper copy and wanted to hear the questions, these ones are still the same. And I encourage all of you who want to hear of it read to stick around with me. So for those of you that are leaving, good luck and uh, do your best. All right, for those of you that have stayed, 
what we're going to do is I will read the question and then I will give you about 10 seconds before I read the next one. That is enough time to hit pause so that you can type it out and come back. Um, just know that I will read the next question once you unpause the video. So let's start up here. What is your name? Again, give me your real name. First name's fine. Question one, correct this statement. Columbus wanted to prove that the world was not flat. Next question, correct this statement. Columbus discovered North and South America. Next question, correct the statement. Columbus made one voyage across the Atlantic and back to Europe. Next question, correct the statement. Columbus got along well with the American Indians he encountered when he explored. Next question, list three causes or reasons for Columbus's voyages. Final question, list three effects or consequences of Columbus's voyages. And that can be from the perspective of Europeans, Africans, or America's indigenous people. All right, we've reached the end of this quiz. So at this point, you make sure that you hit submit on the assessment, and we will see you in a future episode. So have a great day and bum up.